communication and navigation system. 1. Refer to figure 16. Which of the antennas shown is a typical DME antenna? 1. 2. In an autopilot, which signal nullifies the input signal to the ailerons? Follow-up signal. 3. When must the radio station license be displayed in an aircraft equipped with a two-way radio? When the aircraft is operated outside the U.S. 4. Doublers are used when antennas are installed to reinstate the structural strength of the aircraft skin. 5. When an antenna is installed, it should be fastened so that loads imposed are transmitted to the aircraft structure. 6. When bending coaxial cable, the bend radius should be at least 10 times the diameter of the cable. 7. What component of an autopilot system applies torque to the control surfaces of an aircraft? Servo. 8. In which control element of an autopilot system is an attitude indicator? Sensing. 9. In the landing configuration GPWS typically monitors the radio, radar, altimeter, air data computer, instrument landing system, and landing gear and flap positions. 10. When installing a DME antenna, it should be aligned with the center line on the airplane. 11. How much clearance from the seat bottom is required when installing radio equipment under a seat? One inch with the seat occupied and subjected to maximum downward seat spring deflection. 12. Which of the following provides manual maneuverability of the aircraft while the autopilot is engaged? Flight controller. 13. When operationally checking an autopilot system on the ground, after the aircraft's main power has been switched on, the autopilot should be engaged. Only after the gyros come up to speed and the amplifier warms up. 14. Which channel of an autopilot detects changes in pitch attitude of an aircraft? Elevator. 15. When must the emergency locator transmitter, ELT, battery be replaced, other than reading the replacement date? When the transmitter has been in use for more than one cumulative hour. 16. A gasket or sealant is used between the antenna mast and fuselage skin to prevent the entry of moisture. 17. The purpose of a glide slope system is to Assist the pilot in making a correct angle of descent to the runway. 18. What characteristics of the installation of a rigid antenna on a vertical stabilizer should be evaluated? Flutter and vibration. 19. One antenna can be used for the radio range and standard broadcast bands in light aircraft because the two ranges are close together. 20. Part of the ADF system used on aircraft includes sense and loop antennas. 21. An aircraft antenna installation must be grounded to the airframe. 22. A DME antenna should be located in a position on the aircraft that will not be blanked by the wing when the aircraft is banked. 23. How may the battery replacement date be verified for an emergency locator transmitter, ELT? By observing the battery replacement date marked on the outside of the transmitter. 24. Refer to figure 16. Which of the antennas shown is a typical glide slope antenna? 2. 25. Dutch roll. A combination yawing and rolling oscillation that affects many swept wing aircraft is counteracted with a yaw damper system. 26. The preferred location of a VOR antenna on light aircraft is on top of the cabin with the apex of the V pointing forward. 27. What is the primary purpose of an autopilot? 
to relieve the pilot of control of the aircraft during long periods of flight. 28. What will occur if an aircraft attitude is changed by its autopilot system in order to correct for an error and the involved control surfaces are returned to streamline by the time the aircraft has reached its correct position? Normal operation. 29. What is the main purpose of a servo in an autopilot system? Move the control surface as commanded. 30. What component is the sensing device in an electromechanical autopilot system? Gyro. 31. The preferred location of an ELT is as far aft as possible, but forward of the vertical fin. 32. On modern large aircraft, what electronic device typically monitors flight parameters and performs autopilot functions? Flight management computer. 33. Installed radio equipment is protected from damage due to jolts and vibration by shock mounts. 34. What is the operating principle of the sensing device used in an autopilot system? The relative motion between the gyro and its supporting system. 35. Refer to figure 15. What is the approximate drag load on an antenna with a frontal area of 0.125 square feet installed on an aircraft with a speed of 225 miles per hour? 2.069 pounds. 36. When installing coaxial cable, it should be secured firmly along its entire length at two foot intervals. 37. When would a U.S. resident not be required to hold a Federal Communications Commission FCC restricted radio telephone operator permit to operate two-way aircraft VHF radio equipment when flying or communicating within the United States? 38. The elevator channel of an autopilot controls the aircraft about which axis of rotation? Lateral. 39. Static dischargers help eliminate radio interference by dissipating static electricity into the atmosphere at low current levels. 40. In general, the purpose of an aircraft transponder is to receive an interrogation signal from a ground station and automatically send a reply back. 41. VHF radio signals are commonly used in both VOR navigation and ATC communications. 42. A fully integrated autopilot controls the aircraft around how many axes? 3. 43. After an automatic direction finding antenna has been installed, the loop must be calibrated. 44. An emergency locator transmitter, ELT, battery must be capable of furnishing power for signal transmission for at least 48 hours. 45. Refer to figure 15. What is the approximate drag load on an antenna with a frontal area of 0.137 square feet installed on an aircraft with a speed of 275 miles per hour? 3.387 pounds. 46. The addition of avionics and associated antenna systems forward of the CG limit will affect empty weight and a useful load. 47. An emergency locator transmitter, ELT, is normally activated by an inertial switch or equivalent mechanism if subjected to a force of a prescribed intensity and duration. It must activate when the force is applied parallel to the longitudinal axis of the aircraft. 48. How may the operation of an installed emergency locator transmitter, ELT, be verified during aircraft inspection? By tuning the communications receiver to the civil emergency frequency and activating the ELT momentarily within five minutes after the hour. 49. The purpose of a localizer is to align the airplane with the center of the runway. 50. 
2. Radio equipment is bonded to the aircraft in order to provide a low impedance ground and to minimize radio interference from static electrical charges. Regarding the above statements, only number 2 is true.